third stop on our tour. This is City Group. It is only here because it was bailed out to the tune of $45 billion by the U.S. taxpayer. Anybody here a U.S. taxpayer? Thank you very much on behalf of City Group. <laughs> now, that all makes it a little bit embarrassing that the bank has 427 subsidiaries in tax havens around the world. I'm not making that up. Uh, that includes one in Aruba, 16 in the Bahamas, one in Bahrain, two in Barbados, 19 in Bermuda, 35 in the British Virgin Islands, 90 in the Cayman Islands, 12 in the Channel Islands, 19 in Costa Rica, one in Gibraltar, one in Guernsey, 40 in Hong Kong, one in the Isle of Man, 21 in Jersey, 91 in Luxembourg, the list goes on and on. More about tax avoidance a little bit later though. At the moment, we're interested, as we said at our last stop, on how the debt uh, exploded like it did. Well, as Chuck Briggs, who's a former boss of Citigroup, said, as long as the music is playing, you've got to get up and dance. And that is part of the explanation. While everyone, everyone was buying these dodgy derivatives and taking on more debt, because everyone else was. This is classic mania behaviour. Just like people buying tulips, in 17th century Holland, people kept buying these assets up in the belief that the US Federal Reserve would keep credit flowing and always intervening to keep up the price of assets. In fact, while this mania was going on, Citigroup allegedly, and with so many corporate lawyers around, I would just like to lay stress on the word allegedly, misled clients in a $1 billion collateralized debt obligation leading investors to lose 700 million while the bank profited profits of 160 million. We don't even know the full story here because the American regulator made a very cozy deal with Citigroup. The case will only go to court because last week a US judge ruled in favor of the case being heard and said in any case like this that touches on the transparency of financial markets whose gyration has so depressed our economy and delimitated our lives, there is an overriding public interest in knowing the truth. <laughs>